Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. 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 I did it. Okay, so today we are going to be trying out some premium Korean synthetic wigs. Now, some of you guys may know that I currently live in South Korea. And your girl, you know, I've been in a wig drought, okay? I cannot get the wigs that I usually want from back home. So, like, I've been trying to find some alternatives. But, you know, it's been really difficult. Like, I'm in Korea and, like, all of the hair shops that sell wigs are expensive, okay? They're expensive. And I'm just not willing. But I found out about this brand from this super amazing YouTuber. I love her. I watch her videos to practice Korean, like my Korean listening. And her name is Tweety. And I saw her in these really super beautiful wigs. And I'm like, yeah, girls, got to come. Them, okay? And then some way or another, I ended up spending $500 on these wigs. <laughs> and someone needs to save my bank account, okay? Save my bank account, okay? I have tried one wig. I can't show that one because I threw it away, but I'll show a picture here. This one was my first wig that I tried. Loved it. So I decided to, you know, after I got that one, that I need to get the other. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so the first wig, this one is a little old, but this is like the infamous wig that Tweety wears in her profile picture. It's from the brand called Kabarnara. This wig usually retails for 69,800 won, which is about like $65. It's usually on sale for like around 55,000 won, which is about $50. She's a little old, okay? But I'll insert a picture of when I first wore right here I think she still looks good a little good we're gonna see we're gonna see what she looks like now it's been a while what I like about Kabanara is that like you can order wigs in different sizes so for this wig I got a large let's put it on <laughs> I feel like grunge period poo stiff wa okay I look like crackhead bell beast where are you I mean she cute or whatever, but after a, a few months of not wearing it, and I only wore it like once. She had a little tangle pose. And this is it for the cover. Not a week. Ouch, ouch. Oh my god, it's stuck in my naps. Oh my god. Okay. The next wig we are going to go to is one of the Mega Me wigs. When I was watching Tweety, she said like the wigs are very realistic. The wigs come in this like bag like this. This wig from Magami is their Mystic Straight in the color dark brown. Now this wig, brace yourselves, this synthetic wig is 107,000 won. Now that's about $103, $100, around $100. So we are going to try this one on and see what she looks like. Oh! gonna be up in the classroom you know you know <laughs> they already know what it is it also comes with a wig cap and look you guys it's black it's black we look for it sometimes these companies like to try us and send these colored things on our head Okay, so I have the Mystic Straight. Magni is a little different. Their wigs do not have different sizes. And the cap construction, it's like the same of all basic wigs. You have like the one strap around. There are no combs. Then you have like, ooh, you know, the 
bag lacy here and then the straps the straps in the back now we are going to try it on mystic straight and see what she is giving us okay let's see what mystic straight is giving us let's do this oh hold up oh my god oh, damn i wish my braids were a little flatter but she is so soft and honestly, surprisingly, I think this looks very realistic. If my braids were like sewn to my head, it would be flatter and it would definitely look like I had a sewing. Yes. See, I think the bangs look very natural. But yeah, here's the wig. The next wig I have is another Magony wig. She costs a whopping 110 thousand won. Okay, that's about $105. This one, her name is something like Long Wave. I can't really think for the like me the full name because it doesn't really have the name on here. So we are going to try her out. And she also came in a bag like this oh and i got another tail comb like your girl ain't never what i like about these wigs is they have the fake scalp also but it's cut for you i know some people would be like scared by this color but like you can always put powder on it that's what i'm gonna do anyway but i like that they cut the lace like i don't have to do that yes i realized this wig wig has like short hairs maybe I hate when wigs have that because I feel like it's easier for them to get tangled. But yeah, let's let's try her on. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I think I might want to cut these. But the thing is, I don't know how to cut no bangs. I don't know how to cut no bangs. Okay, so this is she, Miss Wavy. This is so soft. Oh. Enough of she. Always put your wigs back in this little thing. Okay, so the next wig I'm going to try is this one from a company called Pink Age. This was the first company in Korea that I ever tried. It was the first picture that I showed you guys. I don't order my Pink Age wigs online. I actually go inside the store. I love going inside the store, specifically the Gangnam store because the owner it's very sweet and they give like a lot of service and like if I ever need a wig and it's sold out online they will send it to me if they have it so this wig her name is Grace Perm Christina so her price is 98,000 won I think that is about probably 95 94 dollars the construction for this wig is a little different it has combs thought they were one stoned the moment of truth okay so a rule of thumb when you are messing with synthetic wigs you do not want to brush them if you brush them they won't last too long like what i like to do if i have to brush it just brush the top and then i will finger comb the bottom but this is this is grace christina oh, she's giving very much finesse barbie doll tees she's a lot flatter right here which i appreciate okay so she's fixed to the best of my abilities it looks a lot like the previous wig wig bad now to the final and last one it's a pink age one and this one is like a special pink age wig this pink age wig cost a hundred and eighty nine dollars $189. And the reason it costs that much is because there's like a lace part here and it's been hand sewn. So I remember when Tweety wore this wig and I thought it was so pretty. But then she set the price and I was like, no. <laughs> but then I ended up getting it anyway. I love it, like opening up the box. It's so pretty. Oh my God. And this is in the color black. This wig is called Laird Rouge Sea Girl. It's so fancy. Look, there's a there's a fuck inside. Essential guidebook. Taking care of real wigs. Look at her. Okay. And this one comes with another wig pack. But this is like the one with the holes. Let me just the inside it looks like this. 
too close to that. I'll be like so disappointed if this doesn't come out right. Wow, like this, <laughs> this wig right here, I have been excited for like the most. Hold on, what it, maybe if I like part it down the middle. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Okay. I want to cry. <laughs> Fam, what is this? What is this? She is not giving what's supposed to be gave. Okay. No. Yeah, this one is a no for me, dog. They look cute, like when. This was the last one and the most expensive one of them all. I want you guys to tell me, do you think this one looks like it's the most expensive wig? Tell me, don't be shy, tell me the truth. And also let me know, like what is your favorite wig? I think so far my favorite was the Mystic Street. And I think that was actually like one of the cheapest wigs here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And let me know what your favorite wig was or if you think this one really deserves to be the most expensive. <laughs>